Good morning. It's currently 10 past five. Today, I slash we, um, me and a group of friends are traveling to Sydney to race in High Rocks over the, week, over the, over the weekend. Uh, and I'm just up getting ready. I'm gonna do my hair, get dressed, and then have some food before we roll out. Okay, so hair's done. I'm gonna make some toast. Um, absolute staple, Vegemite toast every morning. I wouldn't call it breakfast because I always have breakfast after training, but like before I do anything, Vegemite on toast. Anyway, the whole reason I'm filming um, is because I figured I would try and make some form of a video from this whole weekend experience. Because there's like 10 of us going and we're all racing different races and stuff like that. So I just figured I'd try and document all of it because that could be fun. Anyway, my electrolytes, I'm gonna drink them before I get on the plane and Monster. Can't go wrong with a monster. I wouldn't normally dress in a t-shirt and jeans for an aeroplane flight or a flight. Why did I say aeroplane flight? Um, but I'm trying to save space on luggage. I'm also gonna wear a jumper and a jacket because Jetstar tight asses. I am driving everyone to the airport. So I'm gonna eat my toast and I'll see you guys at the airport. Who's pumped? Oh. Where's, where's the other one? Oh, it's my hand. <laughs> Big dog's got his coffee. Do you actually get pancakes? Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I was doing this on my nose. Okay. I'm gonna leave it in. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. Yesterday. Breakfast uh, <laughs> Yes, we look like athletes. We're up. Where the fuck is this? There he is. He's going full athlete. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking lazy, dude. We should do our shakeout run on one of them. <laughs> I like your jumper. We're fucking doing it. Yeah. Guys. See ya! Big dog! We made it, we're in our seats. Raw dogging. Raw dogging at the whole flight. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Nothing. I could just have your attention please. If any other this bathroom is comically small. I can't even turn around in here. Got some snacks. Up goes. Wherever you're coming in. Try and crack it without spilling it everywhere. Oh, I'm trying to do it on camera. Oh, very fizzy. But it does taste like apple fizz. Uh, <laughs> yeah, tropical drink for a tropical guy. <laughs> it's like my fourth coffee for the day. There's sand in the lens. Look. Where? Um, and then I was there. Hey guys. Oh, we can see ourselves. Smash wow, over. that looks good. Yeah, thank you. Get a close up on that. Get a smash over. Looks pretty good. Is it on me or is it on you? Oh, yeah. It's on you. <laughs> it's only one lens, dude. Yeah, no. Oh. You're looking fresh. We're gonna go to the, the Bondi Beach, is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Bondi, On the way to Bondi. Bondi. These guys look athletic, let's make them walk. <laughs> Just climb in. Yeah, Dad knows it's up. Bougie you as, dude. My horror bitch! How good's the car? <laughs> so I'm in front? Someone has to get in the front. There's just no stopping here, man. Oh, right, quick, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Tourist things, we're at Bondi. Yeah, dog. Look at him. Businessman. Oh, there's that pool. Oh, sunny, go on. Oh, the ice pool. Oh, yeah, it's there. That's why I want to go to icebergs. That's why I want to see it. Do you want to go and look at it? Yeah. Should we walk up to icebergs? Yeah. 
kills. Oh, I know, that was terrible. Gyms. Actually, a really nice day. Actually, it's a very nice day. Do you know how many fishies there be down there? Tons, dude. <laughs> we found a pool. It's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm not going, going on. I'm not going on the sand. Fuck the sand, dude. You guys can go yeah, by yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Big boy. It's hard work, man. I get sand in my shoes. You guys can uh, yeah. How's this? We get stuck with all the fucking bags. Or they go to take their hot girl photo. We'll pull up. Do 10. Oh, oh, it's nice ground. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, room tour. Um, I'm gonna go back to the entrance. Come in. Kitchen, fridge. What's happening? Pretty good kitchen. You stack the stack the fridge with essentials. The monsters. Clearly, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> nice little room here. Got a view of the city. A bit of a balcony. Then, fucking bathroom. Oh, there's a bath. Uh, we have one. And then, <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> we got two beds. We thought we were gonna get stitched up and only have one yeah. bed, but we got yeah, two beds. Fun, but we got two beds. But how yeah, good? good. Going on a shakeout run. Which way are we going? I see someone running shirtless. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bit of a destination run. Yeah. Yeah. How good. Pretty good. Cute. Oh, I love this. Oh. Yeah, I love this. What do you reckon? That's a really cute yeah. photo. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. Yeah, look how cute this photo is of us. Yeah. Shake out done. It is really fucking loud in here. But last run before race day. How, which is tomorrow. Like We're looking for some tan. <laughs> Got the experts. All right, did a big shop at the supermarket for tomorrow's snacks. This is what we got. I wonder if you can see it. We got a loaf of white bread. Bananas. Vegan sliced banana bread. Apples. Skittles. Strawberry jam. Chocolate bars, peanut butter, butter, cliff bars, monsters. So the plan is to make a bunch of peanut butter and jam sandwiches and carry them around with me for the day because I'm going to be at the venue for the whole day and I'm racing at 7pm and then take things like banana bread, Skittles and then a bunch of fruit to top up. Good plan. Uh, we're about to go down to dinner. We're gonna go to a pub. Um, in my experience before races, I like to stick to like simple stuff. So I'll probably get a burger and chips or something along those lines. Not overcomplicate things. I know I can eat them. I know I can race the next day. Uh, and it's a good feed. So I'll show you what I get when I get there. It's a vegan schnitzel. <laughs> so dinner's here. Um, that's my vegan schnitzel. Looks a bit sad. I also got these. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be delicious though. Look, if I'm honest, the schnitzel was a bit of a letdown. It was pretty small. It tasted okay. It wasn't, didn't taste bad, but it was just very small. Chips were really good. They were a highlight. Uh, and the cauliflower poppers or whatever they called them were pretty doughy, to be honest. And they didn't have a whole bunch of flavor. So I had to sauce them up heaps. But it was honestly just fun to hang out with everyone, talk a bit of shit the day before the race. All right, dinner's done. Uh, I'm now going to make my peanut butter and jam sandwiches for tomorrow. So the plan is... I'm gonna empty out the bread bag, make all of that bread into sandwiches, and then put it back in. And then I'll put it in the fridge overnight, 
we should be good to go. Okay, so the plan was just to make as many PB and J sandwiches as I could. You can see I figured out my system pretty quickly. I put butter on, and then I'd put a teaspoon of jam on, then I'd go peanut butter on the top slice, slam it on top, and then I'd have six sandwiches ready to go. We got through loaf and a half of bread and made 13 sandwiches that also used up a full jar of strawberry jam and most of the jar of peanut butter. You can also see Riley come out after putting his tan on and start flexing on himself in the background. Carry on like this, because otherwise I'll get squashed and I'll just mush it in two. Yep. That's it. I still got it on my face. One bag. Two bags. I think there's like 12 PB and J's. I feel like a mad mullet. Um, day one, done. It's not really day one, it's kind of just the first day of being here. I'm going to bed, we're going to bed. We'll see you on uh, race day. Yeah. All right, it's race day. It is currently 7.48. Um, I'm gonna pack my bag because I'm staying at the venue for the whole day. So this is what it looks like at the moment. I'm just gonna make sure I'll pack my race kit. I'm gonna have comfortable clothes to wear. Um, I'm gonna pack some food, electrolytes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, once I pack, we're gonna go have breakfast and then we're gonna head in, which is very exciting. So here I'm just packing my race kit into the bottom of my bag, making sure I've got all of it. I packed a few extra bits and pieces in case I got a bit smelly. Ironically, I did forget the deodorant though. I'm gonna make some electrolytes <clears throat> and then I reckon I'm gonna have a little stretch um, just to get the body going or at least do some mobility stuff before the day. I'm hoping these jam sandwiches haven't been squashed at the bottom. They actually look all right. My worry is if they're sitting in my bag all day, the ones at the bottom, everything's gonna just like spill out. But I think we should be good. Anyway, electrolytes. So full disclosure, I don't normally do this stuff. Uh, I only do it when I get a sore back and I woke up with a bit of a sore back. I think walking around uh, and see, being seated on a plane for so long the day before got me a little bit. So I decided to do some stretching and some activation stuff to fix it. And it did, which was great. Done my stretch, I don't know what to call it, stretching, mobility, whatever. Now I'm gonna do my hair. I don't have, Anywhere to put the GoPro, well that's it there. I don't have anything to put in my hair aside from morning mist and hairspray. Just probably put deodorant on as well. So I might try and put some moisturizer in it. Oh, I'll put that on my nose. I reckon that'll help. Because my hair is very curly, if you can't tell. I just need something to help slick it back while I spray it with hairspray. And I don't want to use water because then it just drips all over me. I hairsprayed the fuck out of it to make sure it stays. All right, now I'm gonna pack my food in my bag. I'm gonna make sure I've got everything, make sure my batteries are charged for the GoPro and whatnot, and then <laughs> we're good to go. Okay, so my bag has a few compartments in it. Hopefully, the sandwiches will fit on one side and then everything else will fit on the other side. Oh, okay. They're not gonna fit on one side. They'll have to go one on each side. That's okay. We can handle that. Then I'm gonna bring four banana breads. They can go in with your sandwiches. I'm gonna pack my bag of Skittles. Two Cliff Bars and two chocolate bars. Bring a few bananas. Then we got apples. I'll put two in. I'm gonna eat one now. And a monster. There we have it. The race day backpack. All right, that's it. Bag's on. It's not even that heavy. I thought it was gonna weigh so much because of all the food, but it's not that bad. Uh, it's go time, ladies and gentlemen. This is my breakfast. This is my breakfast. <laughs> How He's missing his ham. It's all right. I'm used to not having good looking food. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We're getting in the car on the way to the venue. Race day, bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Thumb's fucking stuck. We made it, we're walking there now. Everyone's G'd up. Kyle's in race mode. We got our monsters. <laughs> we're here. 
got to make sure you take photos. It's a high rock. Yeah. <laughs> Thoughts are it's kind of warm in here. Oh, yes. Alright, we're one race in. Uh, I'm about to go in and watch another one. It is so loud in there, um, so filming is not ideal. Um, but one race in, three jam sandwiches in, an apple, some electrolytes. We're good, we're on. It is currently. 11.45 Crazy dude Yeah guys Live stream duties we're dealing with a nightmare absolute nightmare bb and j number seven it is what's the time it's like four o'clock i'm so tired still 4 30 we've still got like three hours before the race hanging on strong seems to be the place to be at the moment Race is in far out. Hour and 50. <laughs> We're almost there. All right, race closer on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Going down. Hour five. What did I get? Hour 557. What'd you get? Uh, I don't even know. Hour three. Something? I reckon it was hour 303 or something. Yeah. And then Ryan yeah. got like hour 350 something. Fun race. Now we're gonna go eat food and maybe I'll have a cocktail. Cocktails? Cocktails. Or beers, who knows? Anyway. In second place, one hour and three minutes and two seconds. got back to the room uh we're gonna get changed and then we're gonna go out and have some food and maybe maybe a drink but i'm gonna have some oreos um i'm gonna talk about the race at some other point maybe i'll do a different video for that but stoked considering two weeks ago i wasn't actually gonna do the race um so happy that i got to go out there and actually do it and have a crack and do it with mates cannot beat it um but that is it for tonight i'm gonna go out and have a bit of fun and yeah, tomorrow we're gonna to do a bit of touristy thing. So you get to watch that tomorrow or for the next day, whatever. But good night guys. Fuck yeah, we did it. Day three, we've woken up. Oh, they've stopped, fuck. There's a, <laughs> the bells were going off for like four minutes at least in the background. Um, anyway, day three, woke up, went and had a coffee. Um, it is currently 9.38. Checkout's not till 11, but we're gonna go get some breakfast. Um, and then we might do some exploring today, I don't really know. We'll see where the day takes us. But had an uh, interesting sleep last night. Um, but yeah, I don't feel too bad today, which is exciting. I shit you not, I stopped filming two seconds ago. The bells are back. I think they're coming from this thing. They've been going for ages. If you're not awake, now you will be. Dude, yeah, Sunday morning, so good. We're trying to find somewhere to get breakfast and it's fucking freezing. Bro, look at my hair, it sums it up, like how windy it is. I'm talking to myself, it's so fucking windy. That's a big apple store. Cafe Hunt was not successful. Everywhere in Sydney is shut for some reason on a Sunday. So, I'm gonna go with leftover banana bread from yesterday in the toaster with a bit of butter on it. 
and then we'll get something more substantial later. Looks pretty good, if you ask me. Oh, will I be able to pick it up? Dude, it's gonna crumb. Oh, no. Sometimes. No, it tastes pretty good. Would have been nice to get some avocado on toast, but. Time to check out. Say goodbye. Got my takeaway banana bread. And now we're gonna go do stuff. Do some. <laughs> yeah, so I found a vegan sausage roll. Oh, it's pretty good. Mmm, mm, sausage roll. Oh, that's good. And I also found a vegan fry. It's, it's like chickpea and something. And the pie was curried something as well. But now we're just waiting. Yeah. Hey, do you pull up to this morning tea? Sitting, sitting position. Ultimate comfort. <laughs> yeah, not quite sure what's going on here, but um, we found our way to strike. We're going to do bowling and an escape room. First up is bowling. Then we're going to go gunga. Then we're going to go on escape room. We're doing an escape room. <laughs> and we have to wear these fucking horrible outfits. Look at them. It's like me. Look at them. They're pretty. Okay. So wait, is there clues in this stuff up? Wedding planner. Select the wedding date. Second. We're in an escape room. <sighs> and actually. Is this it? It's is kind of a nice room. Yeah. Hey, help me with the dates. What? This says. Sugar. Select the wedding date. Second to how did she, how did that open, Pete? What song? It just popped open. Oh my god. Play a song. Does she like this particular song? Maybe you just gotta get to the right order. No, I don't like that one. That's not the one. Oh, wait, yeah! Was that anyone say? Choose the music and learn the dance. Oh, yeah, stay there. And now you're gonna go number two. Someone's wrist, bro. Escape <laughs> room's done. We didn't do very well. We failed. It's very bright outside. But now we're going to go back home. Back home? Yeah. We're going to grab our bags and then go back to the airport. Hey. Either someone did some really bad shit or someone really important's coming. Oh, here we go. It's a protest. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Not everyone can survive uh -huh. this big weekend. Oh, come on. Put your head back down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no, she's awake. <laughs> plane has been, or plane was delayed by like an hour. So we're sitting, waiting to get on. All the other planes were cancelled though, so we got pretty lucky. We finally made it on the plane. An hour later than we were supposed to. We 
window seat. <laughs> While you guys are watching these extremely artistic shots, I'm going to tell you about the guy that Riley and I sat next to. Um, we got on there. He asked us about, you know, because we were tall. He was like, you guys are tall. What do you do? And we told him about the weekend. And then we asked him what he was doing in Sydney over the weekend because he also lived in Melbourne. And then he was very, very blasé about why he was in Sydney. Made it seem like he was dealing drugs or something. Anyway, the flight was quick. Only took like 40 minutes and I fell asleep for half of it, which was a great result. Okay, it's now Thursday. It's not Thursday. It's Tuesday. I've been back for two days um so when we left sydney our airplane was delayed um like twice ended up getting delayed by like an hour and a bit uh which was really annoying and inconvenient because it meant we didn't get home till like i don't know i didn't get home until quarter past nine and then into bed till 10 30 then i had to work the next day um so i was pretty tired uh but overall awesome trip um it was so much i had so much fun it was fun doing the race and stuff but everything that came with it was awesome so 10 out of 10 would recommend doing it again it was also fun filming it so i reckon i might try and do more of this stuff but that's it hope you enjoyed it if you made it this far um if you didn't soz well actually you wouldn't know if you didn't make it this far would you no because you won't see this so if you didn't make it this far uh fuck you um if you did hi good job